Today, her family cannot find none of her papers, so they don't know her actual age. They figure she's somewhere between 89 and 102 years old. Stretch. Congratulations! 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 You okay, Miss Cheney? To Mother Gladys Parks. You know Mother Gladys Parks? She just had her baby on Tuesday. She's 75 years old. And her husband, Derek, is 24. Derek? <laughs> what's her name? My mother, mother Gladys Paul. And what's her husband's name? Derek. <laughs> this is their first child. Everything is okay, but the baby will not be home for a couple of weeks because it was born with real bad asthma because her womb was real dusty. <laughs> and the baby had trouble breathing when it came out. Please pray. Please pray for Sister Helen Banks who passed out during choir rehearsal last night. Y'all know she got that sugar real bad and didn't take her medication for those <laughs> who don't know she used to sing up in the back road look a lot like Rem Ab Sharpton in the face that she had, had pressed to the back uh, and uh, flipped up at the end. <laughs> the pastor is asking all members to please Put an extra two dollars in the plate to play the lottery for the six hundred oh, million. <laughs> he says if he, if we win, he promises that he will distribute at least ten percent of ten percent to the congregation. Ten percent of ten percent. And the rest he will keep. He will keep it to build up God's house. <laughs> he said he will. <laughs> He promised to distribute <laughs> at least 10% of 10% to the congregation. And the rest he will keep to build up God's house. And the last one, uh, I don't know what y'all doing Saturday, but the senior choir fume will be Saturday at 12 o'clock. <laughs> the whole choir? All of them, they gonna line them caskets up in the aisle. It's about 15 of them, all of them died the same. But maybe it's too hot in the choir. That concludes our church announcement. Have a blessed weekend, Janie. Call me here. Good morning, everybody. Everybody, good morning. Good morning, Janie. Good morning. How, How you feeling? I'm good. I'm ready to get these church announcements calls. We got to let everybody know what's going on at the Oh Lord Hold My Mule while I shout missionary evangelistic Episcopal Baptist Church of God in Christ AME CME CBS NBC brought to you by Slit Smart Liquor Bull. Here's our 
our church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. All older members, older members who want to be on the senior citizen praise dance team are reminded that tryouts are being held Saturday at 1 o'clock. Please bring high top Reebok. Black stretch pants and some power aid. Come on. You got to be at least 75 years old and be able to stay awake for at least 10 minutes at a time. <laughs> and you must be able to do a Chinese split and a high kick. Wow. <laughs> Come on out and join us, join us, join us. All members with memory problems. All members with memory problems are reminded that there will be a meeting on Saturday morning at 11.30. All members with a memory problem need to remember that there is a meeting immediately following morning worship at 1.15. All members with a memory problem need to remember that there is a meeting at 2.30 tomorrow. What? The, which one is it? I... All members with a memory problem that's reminded that there's going to be a meeting Saturday morning at 11.30. Okay, okay but when is the meeting? Oh, all members, <laughs> listen to me, listen to me. Listening. All members with a memory problem need right. to remember that there is a meeting immediately following morning worship at 1.15. 1.15, okay, got it. All, listen to me, all members with a memory problem need to remember... That there's a meeting at 2.30 tomorrow. Let me go on to the no, next no, one. I said one, is that 2.30? Please say a special prayer. Please say a special right? prayer for the Parks family who lost their grandfather yesterday. Eddie Parks was a good man, Janie. Even though he didn't make it to church much, but uh, uh, and probably not make it to the upper room because he was drunk and like to gamble and chase young girls. But that ain't nobody's business. Mm -mm. He was only 87 when he had been battling Alzheimer's, a stomach virus, pneumonia, hepatitis, oh, wow. gangrene, kidney stones, gum disease. But none of that stuff didn't kill him. He was walking to the store to get him a pack of cigarettes and was eating a honey bun and got stung to death by Burma bees. <laughs> <laughs> got stung by what? Burma bees. <laughs> A whole bunch of Burma bees got in and met that honey bond. Somebody sleeping in my bed. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, Miss Jenkins. Nobody but Jesus. Uh oh. Come on. <laughs> Cause he wake love. me up in the morning, sleeping in my bed. Yes. Nothing but the love of sweet baby G. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> All right now. Amen. All right now. Amen. Janie. Yeah. I got your church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. Now we need that church to pray for the pastor's granddaughter, Leola. Oh. Mm -hmm. Who turned three on Friday, but uh, ain't none of her baby teeth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but ain't none of her baby teeth or no hair grown in yet. <laughs> <laughs> and folks say she looked like comedian Earthquake in the Ooh. face. <laughs> <laughs> and whoever saying it, you going to hell. <laughs> and you need to stop. <laughs> now on the sick and shut in prayer list is Pastor's nephew Roscoe who got arrested on Saturday. You know Roscoe Janie. <laughs> you know Roscoe, don't you? He had to go to the he had to go to the ER. He had got to fighting with three sisters at the beauty supply store. <laughs> <laughs> now he won the fight but suffered serious slap and scratch wounds to the face and neck. <laughs> but then he's resting at his mama's house right now. <laughs> yeah, baby, they went into windmills. That's a lot of slaps. 
All three of them went in the windmill. Oh, Lord. <laughs> they, you, know, you know they strong, Janie. <laughs> yeah. That's like going through a car wash, all them flats. <laughs> Slap the skin off. <laughs> Looking like Freddy Krueger after that fight. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> condolences to three members. Condolences, condolences, condolences to three members of the Midget Choir. Oh. <laughs> passed away on last Thursday after they had got. Locked in the church van by mistake because they was they was up under the back seat shooting dice <laughs> and smoking reef. <laughs> and they all had gave their life to the Lord last month. <laughs> and all three caskets will be set up on top of the communion table by 9 a.m. on Saturday. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you can view the body and take communion. Uh, so they will have all three of them up there. So they had a choice of having three separate cats going to put all three of them in the same one to save money. But two of them had insurance. The third one. <laughs> we want to thank Tom's car dealership for donating three PT cruisers for them <sighs> to carry the bodies over to the St. Janet, that's that from Good Out Church announcement. Thank you so much. <laughs> Y'all have a great day, Janet. I'll call you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our favorite grandmama, Miss Bernice Jenkins. Yeah. Good morning, Janie. Good morning. Congratulations to the Braves. Did you yeah. see the game last night? Did I what? See the baseball game. No, I meant to say. <laughs> yeah, the Braves won the Super Bowl. World Series, yeah. Miss Jenkins. World Series. Cereal. <laughs> Cereal. 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 Oh. <laughs> <Janet>. <laughs> I got the church announcement this morning. Govern yourselves. Accordingly. Govern yourselves. Accordingly. Now, to honor the Atlanta Braves winning... The World Series, the motherboard will be holding a Hank Aaron look-alike contest. <laughs> For all women over 60 who look like the home run king in the face. <laughs> so if you know your mama or grandmama look like Hank Aaron, please submit two pictures of her in a Braves jersey. To Sister Velma Waters by Friday. You know Velma Waters? <laughs> <laughs> Give her the pictures. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Pray hard, pray hard, pray hard for Brother Marco Turner. You know Brother Marco Turner? Yeah. Who had just gave his life to the Lord. He mm. got baptized last Sunday. And then on Tuesday got fired from his job for stealing packages, smoking yeah. reefer, and stealing on female co-workers while working for the post office. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to be getting baptized again this week since the first one didn't work. <laughs> And Janet, they're going to probably have to double dip him. <laughs> Keep him down there for five or ten minutes. Put some bleach and some washing powder in that baptism pool. Oh, 
Homegoing service for Deacon Al Bigsby. You know Al Bigsby, Janie? Yeah. Yeah, the homegoing service for Deacon Al Bigsby is this Saturday. And he was only 47, but had been under a lot of stress. Mm. Working, oh. working the... Working the drive through at Checkers after he lost his, he lost his law license last year for slapping a... Ch- <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> How you losing? <laughs> he lost his law license last year after for slapping a judge in court. <laughs> He was in good health, but he was missing one of his legs after a bowling accident back in 2013. Uh And he was trying to get his orders out and had spent around too fast on that fake leg and it snapped off. (laughs) And he fell over face first into the hot french fry grease and and fried his whole face off. It would be a closed casket service, and immediately after the funeral, checkers will be catering the repast. <laughs> a musty home-going celebration. Janie, all right, Janie, thank you. That concludes our church and our live call. Yeah. Five minutes after the top of the hour. Five. Ladies and gentlemen, from Miss Jackson to Miss Bernice Jenkins in the building. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Miss. Sorry, Miss Janie. Ooh, I am for real. Yes. Never meant to burn up the collard greens. <laughs> you was upset. I know exactly what you mean. Sorry, Miss Janie. Ooh, I am for real. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Janie. Ooh, I am for real. Ooh. How you feeling, Jamie? Fine, fine. Just another day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Here's yes. our church announcements this morning. Govern yourselves. Accordingly. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Now, Mother Annie Hanks, you know her, Janie? Yeah. Yeah, she didn't fell out with Mother Williams. You know Mother oh. Williams. Yeah. After sitting next to each other on the second pew every Sunday since about 1998. Uh-huh. And Mother Williams had left a voice message on Annie's answering machine last Uh-oh. week by mistake. Ooh. And was saying how everybody in the church be sniggling about Annie's three-year-old grandson, Ernest, no. look just like Bishop T.D. Jakes in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, go get you, Miss Bernice. Y'all have to hang up the phone before y'all start talking. (laughs) Now, you know Sister Dorita Martin? Yeah. Now, she uh, 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 is finally divorcing her husband, Cedric. Mm. And they've been uh, after eight bad years. And the women in the church wonder what took her so long because... (laughs) The whole church know that he a whole garden tool. <laughs> Janie, you know what garden tool I'm talking about? A hoe. A hoe. Cause I'm a, you know. A hoe. And he ain't worked nowhere in seven years. Lord have mercy. And been spending her money keeping a glove box full of. A uh, 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 gas station rhino pill <laughs> in the car that she paid a note on, talking about they good for his nervous condition. <laughs> Hell, you cheating all day. What's your nervous style? <laughs> Where's your nervous style? <laughs> right around here with a headache. What's your nervous style? <laughs> Prayers for the family of Deacon Odell Cochran. You know Odell. 
Yeah. He was called to glory on Friday. He was 87. Mm. And the family say he was in excellent health. Oh, Except for uh, uh, sickle cell, bad hay fever, <laughs> kidney stone, what? leg cramps, <laughs> back spasm, <Man>. scalp cancer, <laughs> heart murmurs, <laughs> and he was oh, uh, legally blind, but that oh. ain't what killed him. What killed him? What took him out was he was downtown with his grandkids riding bird scooters. <laughs> And was going fast and, and ran and ran face first into a stop sign. Oh. And they say his face was smushed out like a large pepperoni pizza. <laughs> so this also would be a closed casket funeral. <laughs> and Marco's pizza will be sponsoring it. <laughs> and we'll have pepperoni pizza immediately. Oh, that immediately. Following uh, at the repast, so y'all enjoy the pictures the family posted on Facebook. <laughs> All right, Jenny, thank you. It's Bernice Jenkins in the house. Classic week is homecoming week. Yes, indeed. Who all having homecoming rock team? Oh, man, it's a whole bunch of home. Matter of fact, I think the Magic City Classic is one of the last homecomings. I think, well, fam, you got, I don't fam, think you got homecoming. homecoming because they homecoming is in Montgomery. That's just the classic. Fam, you got a homecoming this weekend. And they play who? Don't know who they play. Bethune. They play Bethune? No. I don't know. I don't think that's the homecoming game. Well... The Ezekiel Missionary Baptist Church is also having homecoming. <laughs> Who they playing? He's not playing nobody the best when all the members that left and joined uh, these other big mega churches come back home from where they started. <laughs> Don't y'all have homecoming at Apostolic? What's the name of your church? Uh, uh, Christ Temple Apostolic Faith Church, but we don't have homecoming. Yeah, and the Baptists, you know, y'all apostolic. Right. That means they're going to get to heaven a little bit before the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the same more, heaven, though, right? Spend more time with God, they're not going to have to stand in line. <laughs> You know, brother. 
the willy turn of seed. Yeah. What's the name of your church? Don't you go to... You go to Christ Temple Apostolic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he passed on yesterday. He was 85 oh. after a long, long life of service. Oh. Yeah, he had served eight years in the Army. Uh-huh. Ten years in the Marines. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, you can do both. Fourteen years in the Navy. <laughs> Twelve years in the Air Force. I just like uniform. Two years in <laughs> Two years in the Coast Guard. <laughs> he saw combat in World War II. <laughs> the Korean War. <laughs> Vietnam. There's a storm. He had beat cancer. <laughs> two strokes. <laughs> and a heart attack. <laughs> that ain't what killed him. What killed him? What killed him was he went down. Shot by some thugs that ran up on him while he was pumping gas. Ladies and gentlemen, Grandmama Miss Bernice G. I want the good Lord. Ain't he good? Ain't he good? Ain't he good? We thank the good Lord. Church announcements govern yourself. Govern yourself. Now we got a special call in prayer line for all members with bad feet. <laughs> call 855 feet. F E E T S. That's 855 feet. One leg called 855 foot. Now, when you call the number, mash one for bunions. <laughs> mash two for corn. <laughs> Ingrown toenail. <laughs> Mass five for calluses, hammer toes, and athlete's foot. That's <laughs> eight five five feet. <laughs> or eight five five foot. <laughs>
mother's birthday celebration, a 100 birthday celebration, whoever was sniggling, uh, you need to come to the altar and be praying for her motorized wheelchair. <laughs> got out of control and had it on fast and she crashed into the drums. <laughs> Adam's apple, inflamed nose hairs, 
and was in need of a blood transfusion. But that ain't what cared him. What cared him? He died at a hotel in Vegas when he thought that he could sit on the back of the rail on the 18th floor and take a selfie. <laughs> and he got the he got the picture, but the flash surprised him. And a few seconds later, he became a permanent part of the parking lot. He was 42, so. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a closed casket, I'm guessing. Probably so. <laughs> Probably one of the caskets that Richard Pryor had on which way is up when they bought that casket. <laughs> Mama Miss Bernice Jenkins. Yes. I am Miss Jackson. And I am for real. <laughs> yeah. That's a good song now, Janie. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry. Yes. Beautiful song. Beautiful. Yeah. They need to apologize to all the Miss Jacksons out there. Tell them, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Hit it, no brat. <laughs> I am for real. <laughs> One more time for the people in the back. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Hit it, brat. <laughs> I am for real. <laughs> Here's our church announcements governing yourself. According to A day of fun is scheduled next Saturday. Janie, you free next Saturday? Yes. A day of fun is scheduled on next Saturday for all the cockeyed members. Uh, <laughs> they're going to be going out to the lake to ride jet skis. Oh, Lord. Oh. So, however, for safety reasons, uh, uh, they will only be allowed to be on the water one person at a time so they won't be crashing into each other. You know what them jet skis is, don't you, Jane? The little motorcycle yeah. things out there on the water. Yeah. Yeah, so they're taking all the cockeyed members out to show to let them know that they are loved and... Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> And appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> the pastor wants to let all the young adult members know that if you were going to get baptized, uh, if you're going to get baptized, you must do it using your whole name. Oh. He ain't dipping nobody else that's only going by your nickname because Jesus don't know. Who heart he trying to come into? <laughs> so Tay Tay, Pumpkin, Buki, Peaches, y'all about to stop this mess. We need your full name so Jesus can know who heart he coming into. Yes. It's a pistol clip and the rest of y'all, you need to get it together. Oh, well. Because Pistol Clip and Tay Tay and all that, that ain't going to be in the book of life. It ain't in the book of life, Janie. Yeah. It ain't in the book of life. No. <laughs> we need your, Jesus needs your first name, your last name, and your social security number. <laughs> <laughs> names like Beulah and Wilhelmina, those are the names that appear in the... <laughs> And Maddie and Ada and Gertrude, those are the names <laughs> that appear in the book of life. Henrietta, yeah. Harrietta, <laughs> Ernest, Ernestine, <laughs> Ernestine, those are the names that appear in the deep throat out right here with these names, uh, 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 Rock Key and Bratton, all this mess. <laughs> Baptized? Did they use Brett or did they use your real name? Uh, they just called uh, and baptized me. Uh, 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 you're going to hell. On under. You're going to hell. You no. know your real name. They need to put you. What's your name? The Tasha. What's the real name, Rocky? Who? 
It's uh, Brad. Shantae. Shantae, man. Yeah, that what need to be in there. That was your grandmama put on now. <laughs> <laughs> we have another funeral. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We have another funeral service going on here on Friday. Sister Lola Smith. You know her, Janie? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sister Lola Smith, her husband. Danny was only 56 and he had fought a long battle with ear infections, chronic dry mouth, arthritis, hypertension, chicken pots, blood clots, stomach cramps, and, and he had about 15 strokes. Other than that, he was in perfect health, but that ain't what killed him. What killed him? What took him out was lead poisoning. His <laughs> wife found out he was creeping with her cousin and caught him coming out of the hotel and shot him 12 times. <laughs> he, he didn't make it. <laughs> All right, Jane, I'll see you at the funeral. All right. All right. Grandmama is back in the building, Miss Bernice Jenkins. <laughs> Janie, get married in. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, how I love to call his name. Yeah. Woke me up this morning and closed in my right mind. <laughs> and let me live to see another day. <laughs> yes. Is our church enough that this man is govern yourself? According. 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 Govern yourself. Accordingly. Congratulations to Sister Quenisha Bates, who gave birth to her fourth daughter on yesterday. And even though she ain't married, she is proud that all of her girls' fathers are members of this church. <laughs> Deacon Waters, Deacon Turnipseed, Brother Ron Whitehead. And this last one, Daddy, is either Brother Askew or Officer Griggs. Oh, the parking man. lot security officer. So oh, at least all the daddies go to the same church, Janie. You know all of them. Yeah. You don't have a baby by none of them, do you? I uh, no, I don't. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All the senior members with hammer toes and bunions will be meeting up immediately <laughs> following service to go shoe shopping for wide sneakers at the outlet. <laughs> it's a nice van outside with pillows on the floor. So them bad feet will be comfortable during the hour-long ride out there. <laughs> Jenny, you going to that? You got bad bunions? Yeah. <laughs> be ready when the van comes. They got pillows on the floor. I will. <laughs> condolences, condolences, condolences. Go out to Mother Beatrice Reynolds. You know her, Janie? Yeah. Because her husband, Elder Clint Randall, Reynolds. Uh -huh. That's right. He, he, you know, we're going to lay him to rest on Saturday. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, he was tired. He was 89. He had suffered with dry mouth, <laughs> malaria, <laughs> chronic sleep twitching, <laughs> high cholesterol. <laughs> Seeker cell. Mm. Oh. Fat man camel toe. <laughs> <laughs> Money box. What? But Janie, that ain't what killed him. What killed him? He had stopped at the red light Friday and got hit from behind by a 92 Tahoe. <laughs> <laughs> but the crash ain't what killed him either, Janie. What killed him? He died because he was eating a corn dog when he got hit and it went down his throat and he choked to death. <laughs> Don't them corn dogs be good when you get down to that little bread on the stick? Yeah, that little crunchy bread. Yeah, that little crunchy bread part on the stick. I wonder what they did with that. <laughs> All right, Janet, thank you. All right. 
Our favorite grandmama is in the building one more again, Miss Bernice Jenkins. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Lord, I'm glad to be in the service. One more time. Uh, uh, uh. Good morning! So good to be alive. He woke me up this morning and slid me in my house shoe. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, our church announced this morning, govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. 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 Whoever silent hooted during the altar call can please <laughs> please come see the pastor following service to get prayed over and rededicate <laughs> your life to the Lord <clears throat> oh Lord oh, that was just terrible <laughs> the spirit was in the church I said what in the cabbage is going on here <laughs> Yeah. 
other animal, and we will tell the story how we overcome and we'll understand it better by and by. Church announcements govern yourselves? Accordingly. Accordingly. Congratulations to mother Me uh, to brother Melvin Green and his fiance BB. <laughs> their wedding is this Saturday. <laughs> and they are the only people because uh, they say midgets. How did you say it? Oh, you can't. They say you have to say little people. You can't be saying midgets. <laughs> <laughs> it's not right, and it's not of the Lord. Yes, ma'am. It's little people, not missions, not dwarfs. Oh. It's little, Maria, Eva, yes. it's little people. Yes, ma'am. Because they're pitching their gifts. Not what? If you say midgets. Okay. Yes, They're the only little people that's members of this church, and they want everybody to who wish to attend to know that they are. <laughs> Take your time, Miss Jenkins. <laughs> they, want, they want everybody to know that they are. <laughs> Registered at Build a Bear in Five Below. Brother Larry Ellis, uh, who passed on oh. Thursday, 
after just 42 short years, uh, Larry was in good health other than a severe asthma and he survived the rattlesnake bite back in February, a brown spider bite in May, a wild raccoon got at him and bit him in June, and then he got bit by a pit bull in July, and he went to, went to the Bahamas and got bit by a shark in August. But that ain't what killed him. Oh, what killed him? Now, what killed him was a bite. Uh, <laughs> what killed him was a bite from a roast beef sandwich that has four meat on it. And he died from food poisoning. So, it was in the bite family. He would have a whole casket. That concludes our church announcement. Jane, I'll call you the Bible. Our favorite grandmama wearing her green alligator dress this morning, Miss Bernice Jenkins. Ooh. Ooh. Pray for me, yes. Lord, my brother. to pray for me. Here's our church announcement this morning. Good morning, Janie. Good morning. <laughs> we are asking any member that knows a family member of Cam Newton to ask him to come play quarterback for our church flag football team. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> the team average age is seven, and we have not won a game in eight years. Chester Burwell, uh, who is 83 and can't throw no more because his elbow and shoulder has got the gout. So please, anybody get in touch with Cam, tell him to call us over here at New Mount Mariah. You got to... Any soft men that are blessed with childbearing hips and full lips. <laughs> Any soft men that are blessed with childbearing hips and full lips can see Sister Alice Watts to sign up for the Gladys Knight Lookalike Contest for the Men's Day Program on September the 12th. <laughs> Condolences and prayers for the Franklin family who lost their father, Billy Earl, last Sunday. You know Billy Earl, Jamie? Yeah. He was 79 and had been suffering from frostbite, uh, whooping cough. Malaria, <laughs> scarlet fever, oh my lord, mosquito bite, <laughs> Ebola, <Ooh>. ticks, <laughs> severe teeth grinding, <laughs> uncontrolled sneezes, <laughs> and a mild case of bubble. <laughs> but God is good, and miraculously, did none of that kill him. Okay. What took him out was him and some other old players was at the Epps Lodge trying to do the Mill Creek Challenge. The Mill Crate? Yeah, the Mill Crate Challenge. Yeah, that right there, that right there, the Mill Crate, that right there. And he flipped over off the top and split his head to the white meat. So his film, he would have a closed casket. They would have the... 
top part of his class casket oh clothes, but God. they will show that he walked a good walk. <laughs> 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 and that concludes our church announcements. And uh, Jane Ann, yeah. I saw that video on Facebook where they say you ain't no prostitute, is you? <laughs> I was worried, Janie. Did y'all get that scholarship money? <laughs> All right, I'll call you.